imagine a world where your greatest fears become reality. Welcome to Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see are designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and they shouldn't be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. I'm doing Fear Factor for the personal challenge, but other than deep water, I have no fears. So bring on the first challenge. I spent three and a half years playing Katrina in Brookside. I'm pretty much scared of everything, but I'm determined to give all the challenges a really good go. I'm only skinny and I'm only weak, but I make up in determination what I lack in, in physical strength. I'm working on my solo projects, they're keeping me busy and I love the buzz of playing football. And I even played professionally for four years. And I'm hoping Fear Factor will give me the same adrenaline in rush. The only fear I have is losing and to lose the game and not come away with the money for my charity, I'd be really disappointed. I used to be in a band called Five, love doing crazy things and Fear Factor is just a little reminder to let me know I've still got that bond element in me. Good morning teams, welcome to South Africa and welcome to Celebrity Fear Factor. You can all take off your blindfolds now guys. Taking your surroundings first, we're all currently standing inside one of the Athlone cooling towers. Now this place is not on the top of many visitors sightseeing lists, but hey, you are not here for a holiday, you're all here for Fear Factor. You're here to win 20 grand for charity, yes. but only one team is going to do that. Tell me Greens, will it be you? Yes, yes most definitely. Most definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. All right, listen up, I'm going to say this just the once. For every stunt you lot individually complete, you will all bank three grand each for your teams and you'll be one step closer to that 20 grand maximum. Now, Fear Factor is not just about banking the cash. It's about winning it, all right? Happy with that? Not really. Not really, bro. <laughs> Do you think uh, Harvey's up for the challenge? Yeah, I think he is, actually. Yeah? Somewhere I think Harvey might become the star player, but I don't know. Harvey, Terry and Abs, you are the green team. This is the first time you've seen your wonderful opponents. You've heard what they've said about you. Tell me, Harvey, which one of them worries you the least and why? Ralph. Why is that? <laughs> Straight in there, why? He is like, we this discussed is, uh, this. We think, we think he might be all fair coat, no knickers. <laughs> this is setting the precedent for the whole show, isn't it? I want to give you guys money for charities. What are the charities you're playing for? Tell me. Sickle Cell. Sickle Cell, nice I'm one. I'm playing for Loros, which was my mum's hospice, when she died of cancer six years ago. Lads? Children in need. Huh? Children in need, good mm. call. What about you, Spoonie? Uh, body and Soul, they're a charity that deal with children living with and dealing with HIV. Anne-Marie. Breast cancer, and we are going to start. Well done. Ralph. And that clothes shop, Oxfam. Oxfam, brilliant. Well, they're all worthwhile. Put something back in, hasn't it? I know. <laughs> right, well, everyone's ready by all accounts. Do you want to know what the first stunt is? This first stunt involves nerve, balance, and a head for heights. It's called the cable crawl. All you've got to do to bank the money is make your way across it, simple as that. The height is 250 feet from where we are standing. From one side of the cable crawl to the other is 150 feet. 
and the cable is only 15 millimetres thick. Do we want to know who's going first? Ain't it a toss of a coin? Nope, we've randomly selected. Greens. Green team are going first, uh... and Terry, you have been chosen to go first. Oh, you are not! <laughs> <laughs> and straight up after Terry, red team, it is that Ralph. Is so not fair. You ready to do this, guys? Yeah. Both of you follow me now, please. Come with me. The team, stay Good there. Luck. Good luck, mate. All right. All right. This is where you're starting. Right. 150 feet across there is the end. This bar is for you to use. Rest your legs on it, rest your hands on it, rest your belly on it. Whatever you want to do with it, you do it. It's find a way you're comfortable with, make your way across the other end where I will be, there's a string. Okay. When you get to the other end, I will say to you, pull this flare. If when you pull it, green smoke will come out. Okay. Your friends down there know you've completed the stunt and everyone's happy. Okay. Hopefully I'll be saying to you, bank three grand. Now, I think you as anyone can tell, it's very, very windy up here, yeah? Yeah. A little bit more windy than it was downstairs. Yeah. Do you think some of them are going to panic at this? Well, I am, if that's any consolation. Are you afraid of heights? Yeah. What kind of heights do you don't you like going above? This is the highest I've ever been. You don't like it? No, not at all. Can we not just do this? Why did you change? <laughs> Why did you not want Stop to be a swimmer? I just want to do it. No, no, I'm scared. OK, Terry, are you sure you want to go through with this? Three, two, one! Remember, use that bar to your advantage. Go ahead, Terry Joe! Go ahead, Joe! Go ahead, Joe! The thing is, you're not just dealing with your fear, which is high. Uh, it's kind of like, man, you've got to be strong to do that. My wrists are killing. Well, you know who's following you, don't you? Ralph, Mr. Little Arms Little. <laughs> I'm glad I've done it. I've Congratulations. It. You have banked your team three grand. Fabulous. What's your biggest fear at the moment? Uh, not doing it. Not doing it. Nothing to do with the height, the pulling, the, the, the heaving, the cutting. I think. Once I get out, like, the whole height thing will be fine. I mean, I'm not, like, too worried now. Right. But it's like, I just, I think it's going to be difficult. Do you know what? I don't know if I'm shaking because of the cold or not. <laughs> but something's, something's made me go. I don't know, I just think if I try and use my feet, it'll be too difficult to pull, pull along with me. It's got to be the hand. Three, two, one. I'm gonna spit on you if you don't shut up. <sighs> I'm gonna have a little rest. Just resting. Keep going. Oh, come on, boy. <sighs> okay, it's all wobbling and the bar's caught, but we should be all right. <laughs> Waiting for it to stop swinging. No pain, no gain, man. The bar keeps getting caught, and every time it does, I nearly go. Do 
did it, got across. I was exhausted. It was the relief at having done it, but just because I'd completed it. I wouldn't have felt relief if I'd have fallen. I'd have been really, really angry. It's gonna go for it, it's yeah. doing it. Yeah, okay. Tell me, if you don't do this, the rest of your mates, i.e. the crew, are they gonna give you stick for not doing it? Or are they <laughs> gonna give you stick for doing it? Listen, he isn't not doing it. It's it, not in the yeah. equation. No, I'd get stick big time. Big time, yeah. Big time, yeah, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. <laughs> I'm hearing it, I've just got to deal with it. So, so what you have it. to do, is before you take the stick, you have to work out which... Do not wish to talk with the enemy. Can you, um, <laughs> like, have a conversation <laughs> with me? Right. Um, thank you very much. Um, nice if Abs are sent it to me, I'll answer yes, Abs. If you want to talk to him, talk to me first, and I'll pass your question on, bro, yeah? OK, what I'll say is, all right, I think Harvey should spit it into two groups, those who would go out there and do it and those who wouldn't. Those who wouldn't even do it, for starters, can't say anything. Basically, you don't want it, man, do you think? Cheers, yeah. respect, <laughs> respect. <laughs> respect. Oh, all right, yeah, it's booty. Stay strong, Harvey, we're done here, mate. Come on, bro. When I was going up, it was just, oh my god, I got it. it's actually my turn now, do you know what I mean? I've been giving it the bigger and I've actually got to prove that I can do this. And then when I got to the top, I was nervous and looking around because it was windy. It just didn't feel stable up there. And it was just, I was just, but I was just ready for it. Beneath you, you're so tired, you forget that you're that high up. That's it, just determination, man. It was like a 100 meter race, but in a different form. <laughs> My arms are killing me. Of course, when I go to gym four times a week, yes. didn't let down South London. No one's failed yet, you can be the first. Oh, please. Please don't do this to me. Who do you think's going to be more... Who do you think's going to be more upset if you fail? You, your charity, or your two teammates? Uh, probably myself and the charity. Do you, do you like losing? No, I like winning, but we'll see, eh? <laughs> I'm not helping my brain. I'll try my best. When I saw the height of the power station and what we had to do, I just thought, oh, what am I doing here? It didn't really sink in at first. I was, because I'm really scared of heights. I didn't sort of build myself up to get really scared. I just tried to keep calm and not sort of talk or think about it too much. You're going to go in three, two, one, go! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank three grand for your charity. How do you oh, feel? I'm, I'm glad I've done it now. I made up. I didn't think I was going to do it. How are we feeling? Cool, man. It's quite nice of you, to be honest with you. A nice bit of colour going across the whole uh, 
Horizon, nice to see. Bit of rain, bit slippery, but nonetheless. To remind you of home, mate. Yeah, very much so, man. Right, listen, at one point you were part of one of the biggest pop bands around. Uh -huh. There's going to be a lot of fans probably watching this. Yeah. How do you think uh, they're going to feel if you fail this stuff? I know, I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Um, you know what? All I can say is, everyone, the music's still there regardless. Even if worse comes to worse, and I go straight down, and for some reason the harness don't work. Well, listen, you've, you've done a lot of dancing in your, in, in, in your band days. You've done a lot. So you must be pretty strong, pretty healthy, pretty fit, yeah? So this should be a piece of cake for you, yeah? Hopefully. I mean, it's a different story once I'm actually on it, but I'll give it my best shot, man. This is crazy, man. What am I doing? You can start in three, two, one, go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I can see where the fire thing comes into action and the whole upper body strip and plus the wires burning up my leg. But still, I feel like I'm flexing a bird or something, man. This is crazy, man. What am I doing? People, I ain't even lying, this is hard. Get in, Get in big man, dig in. Come on, you can do this, you can do it. You're nearly home. It's a different factor when you're up here, yeah, with the wind. Because you were kind of, the whole thing was going to one side. What was all that about? Just balancing, man. Just getting your balance right, getting the bar because the bar was sliding. Once you got all that straight, you're cool. All right, you know who's up next, don't you? Spoonie! Listen, congratulations. Three grand for the charity. That's you made right. it count. We're off on our own now. There's no one else around. You haven't got to be the big man anymore. Tell me, are you feeling a little bit more dubious now you're up here? Dubious is not the word. The adrenaline is kicked in. I just can't wait to get along the other side now. OK. Three, two, one. Trying to put me off. Don't worry, I've got my plan now. Come on, Spoonie, you're looking strong, man. Come on, you're nearly there. Digging it in deep. All right, Spoonie, nice and easy. Get on the board. Nice and easy. A lot of positivity here, yeah? Yeah, mate. Good. Good. What can I say apart from congratulations to each and every one of you? You've all banked three grand each for your charities. Yes. Both teams are on nine grand. Guys, let's try and sleep well tonight, okay? No nightmares. Come out fighting tomorrow. Keep the team spirit up, guys, because you're going to need your teammates' help to get through this, all right? Sleep tight. Congratulations for today. Good night. See you in the morning. The 
thing that scares me the most is spiders. And if you're talking on a, a big scale, it's definitely tarantulas. I have a horrible feeling that stunt two is going to be something involving creepy crawlers. I'm really looking forward to the next stunt. Oh man, don't know what to expect. Looking forward to it, slightly excited, slightly a little bit nervous because just that kind of fear. It's obviously it is that fear factor. I can't be confident because I'm not sure what it is yet. But what I will say is if it comes down to team spirit and determination, then I'd rather be on the red team than the green team. I've got a very weak stomach. If I was to eat a cockroach, spider, maggot, anything like that, I think I'd probably vomit. I can't even talk about spiders without a shiver. Spiders and tomatoes. I could sooner eat disgusting stuff rather than sink my teeth into a big fleshy, juicy raw tomato. Good morning, teams. Welcome to Stunt 2. Thanks, man. This is hideous. Welcome to the Langer Township and probably a first for all of you, a witch doctor's medicine hut. All you guys have to do today to bank three grand towards your charity jackpot is to pick up 15 of these African Afrikaans. They are called Hunda Copper and Punta. Hunda is chicken. Copper is a head. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my God. And Punta is a foot. Easy enough? I can deal with that. No, no, no. that wait doesn't for stop the there. Wait for the kick in there. Well, Unfortunately for all of you guys, you cannot use your hands. You must use your teeth. Oh, good God. That still sound a bit too easy for you? Yeah, I'll juggle with that. OK. Let's do it. Oh, my God, it's Give you some company something. while you're picking them up. Go, isn't it? You're going to have some friends. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Now, <laughs> mate, you've got two oats. I'm giving one of Bob. No. I'll tell you one thing. That's not spaghetti. <laughs> oh, my God. That is not <laughs> pasta. No! Oh there are 20,000 maggots and mealworms oh. in that tank. <laughs> there are 20 heads and feet in that tank. All you have to do is get 15 of them in two minutes. Right, red team, you're going first today. I would like the green team to confer. You've got 20 seconds to pick someone from the red team. Uh, mm. Yeah. <laughs> right, have you decided first? Yeah. yeah. Tell me, you've all picked, who is it? Ralph. Ralph. Why have you chosen Ralph? Because he's, he's full of it, he acts like he can handle any situation. So Come around the front so we can see your lovely face. There's a chicken head. Kneel down on there for me. OK, give us a chicken head. Ralph, you can do this. That's Guarantee nice. you can do this. <laughs> That's nice. Right, Ralph, you ready to do this? Hands on the front or the side. I don't want you going in, OK? I am, but don't start me off. You I'll tell me when you're ready, OK? Let's go, then. <laughs> oh, go on, Ralph. <laughs> can you keep him in, please? Sorry. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Ralph. Oh, Ralph. Ralph, dig in. Come on, you can't oh, waste time, man. Dig on. in. Come on, mate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, Ralph. That's it. Go on, Ralph. Come on, Ralph. Dig in, mate. Dig in. Come on. <laughs> there it is. Go on, Ralph. <laughs> I can't get this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick, man. Come on, bro. Come get on. it. Get it. Go on, go on. Go on, Ralph. Go on, Ralph. Dig in, dig in. Come on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> There's one there, right? Nice, right nice. No, it's not. It's not. Where? Stick your head right in and dig, then whack it out. Dig, oh, and then dig, almost the dig. Surface. Go right to the bottom. Go. Go right to the bottom. There's one, there's one. There's one. Go on, well done. Go on. Go on. Ralph, you're a genius. You're still He's not going to do it, but the boy's a legend. I'll give him that. Get the points, then, in this Shut up. 
How long has he got left? Time. Oh, no. Ralph. Ralph, come back a second. Come back a second. First off, congratulations for giving it a go. How does it feel? It's not as bad as you'd think. It's just really irritating that you can't find any of them. Because <laughs> I, having attempted it, you know, I really wanted to do it. <laughs> but uh, that's just annoying. Mm -hmm. I'm actually more irritated than anything else. Right, Reds, you have a little confer. I think you know who you're going to pick, but have well, a confer think, anyway. To, to be honest with you, myself and Emery marie came to the conclusion that since Ralph was brave enough to, to try and do it, he should actually have the honour of nominating the next person. Really? Who's it going to be from the Greens? <laughs> Harvey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I ask why you picked Harvey, Ralph? Something about me talking myself up and not following it through. Are you going to do it or not? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Right, listen to me. Go on, then. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it's trying to imagine off. this pasta, because I like pasta in there. <laughs> why do they smell like that? Why? At least wash them before you put them in there. Like <laughs> They're cool in your face and all that. Yeah. yeah. I've got to open my mouth and bite, and they're going to be in my mouth. Yeah. I have to take the hammer in, I can't do that. You're not going to do it? Yeah. You're not even going to try and do it like Ralph did? I'm not going to try. <laughs> OK, yeah, well, simple as that. The, the, the gospel honest truth on this is, I really want to do it, but I cannot bring myself to do it. <laughs> Congratulations, Ralph. I'm going to give you your three thousand pounds. Yes. Get in there. Uh... Because you attempted it. God. It's now happy hour at Ed's Witch Doctor Hut. I'm going to lower the tally from the original fifteen to a third. So if you do your maths, a third of fifteen is what? Five. Five. In two minutes. <coughs> so I'm going to go back to the first person on the green team that was chosen. Harvey? <laughs> oh, okay. Fine, fine, no problem. <coughs> I'm going to go to the next person on the red team. Spoonie, you can do five, man. Let me have a look. Ooh, You'll do this, Spoonie. Oh, Spoonie, come on. <laughs> Sit down and have a little look. Being the gentleman and the squire, I did say that if I only had to beat Ralph's score, that I'd do it. Right. Let's get this feet up. Three, two, one. Go. Go on, Spoon. There's one on the top, on the top, on the top, on the top, on the top. Go on, Spoon. Go on, that's one. Come on. Come on, come on. Dig in, mate. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go on. Three, go on. Well played, Spoon. Keep going, man. Come on. Dig in. Where are you? Come on. Fair play. You're doing this easy, man. Easy. One on the top there. One on the top there. Wait, wait. There, it's right, right in the middle there. Yeah, there you go. There it is, there it is. Come on, quick. You got it. Yeah! Oh, my. Brilliant. Brilliant. There you go. I'm a gentleman. I said I'll do it. I'll say that. Brilliant. Abs. Yes, bro. <coughs> you haven't got to get eight. <coughs> you haven't got to get seven. You've got to get five. Yeah, but see, there's a there's a new little new little something been thrown into the mix, man. All the other boys is spit now, you know what I mean? I got everyone else's saliva on the chicken. <laughs> I can't believe there's 20 chicken heads. Of How many do you have to get? Five. You're worried about a bit five. Of spit. Forget it, man. What am I doing? Forget it. No. No. No? No, nah, man. Right. Sorry about that. Don't worry. And? What's your end? Both <laughs> of your teammates have done it. Nine grand. That's the truth. Just sit there a while and get used to I'll it. I'll do it. Quick. You do it? Quick, quick. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Cock's going to start in three, What's gonna two, start? one, go. Oh, go in, go in. You rip, started rip, now, Anne. You started. Go on, girl. One. That's it. Good girl. Away. You started. Just straight from away. There There's another two. one. Easy. Come on, you'll do this. Come on, you'll do this. Scrape it away like a short. Scrape it. Just scrape it. Don't worry about your hair. 
Good girl, Ryan. Good girl. Don't use your hands. Don't use your hands. Don't shut your eyes. There you go. Hold on. Hold on again. Hold on again. Hold on again. You started. Do it now. And you started. You started. You started. That doesn't count. I want it in the bucket. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. And get it before it sinks. All that hard work. And there's one there on top. Take the one on top. Get it. Get it. Take it. Well done. Doesn't count. Don't get it. In the bucket. In the bucket. And come on. Cock is ticking. You've started now. Come on. Come on now. Get your head in. That's it. There you go. Do it again. Oh, there, it is, there, it is. there it is. There's one. Come on. No, and they're not counting. I want them in the bucket, babe. I can't get them in the bucket. Slow down. down. There's one there. Pick it up. Put it in the bucket. Take, watch, wait, take your time. Take, take your, time. your time. Take your time. That's it. Good girl. Take your time. One more. <laughs> right, one minute gone. How many more have you got to do? Two more. Go on, now. Just get, take your time. There's one there towards you. Right in front of you. Right in front take of your there. time. Move take your time. Take your time. Go take on. your time. Just get take your time. Get your face in and move that away. Move the, move the. And you can't oh, waste time, you've started that. Don't stop. And you've started, come Don't on. Stop. Whack your head in. Move them across, move them across. Hold your, your breath, face. Get stuck in there. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Come on, dig in, dig in. Near you, near you. If you there, there it is, you. near you, there it is. Right on the top. Take your time, take your time. Good one, girl, one, one more, one more. One more. One more. Go on, man. How long have you got in yet? Don't count. Dig in. Bury your head in there. Bury your head. Three grand, don't think about it. Come on. Come on, dig, keep digging. Take your time. Take your time. Go on, Keep digging, Ann. Come on, come on. And go on, Ann. Ann, don't stop. Don't fail on me, Ann. Come on, keep digging. Please. Where is it? Keep going. Oh, my God. Where is it? There it is, right there. She's seen it. Nice and slow. Go on. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, Ann. Count to five and do it. It's in there. Come on, Ann. 20 seconds, Ann. Go on. And go on. Listen to Spoonie. He's your teammate. And get in there. You don't stop. Get in there. Where is it? Dig, 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 dig. Right there. And again. Hold your breath. One more time. Hold your breath. Do it. There it is, there right it is. there. Oh, take your time. Come on, take your time. Yay! Yeah. Well done, babe. <coughs> Easy. Come, come, come. How are you feeling? I'm glad I've done it. And right. I'm well, 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 well. Now listen, do you think uh, I can't believe I've done it. You think you could have done ten? No. <coughs> They're too big, my mouth's not that big. <laughs> They're just a what weird was, shape to get hold of. What was the worst part? I think it's um, sort of when I knew I had two more to go and I couldn't find them and I just was going in and I wasn't getting anywhere. It just felt so sick. Oh, what's right, your point? Yeah. Congratulations. Don't touch them gloves. Don't worry, they give you a chance again. Go on, join your team. Right. Well that is brilliant. There's only one more person who can redeem themselves on the green team <laughs> and she knows who she is. Don't you, yeah, but it's no point, yeah, is it? Right. Because all we can accumulate now is three grand. Three so grand is better than nothing. Yeah. yeah, but they've got like. Three grand, but it doesn't mean nothing if you don't win the final stunt, Terry, yeah, does yeah. it? You can still make it. No fashion, man. Step up. She's going for it. Step up. Just step up and have a look. I always get girls to do I reckon you'll do this, Tom. Can I just say this? The only reason I'm doing this is because it's my mum's charity. Go on, Terry. All right, Terry, let me just get the clock ready. Three, two, one. Go, go on, Terry. Go get your right in there. Go on, Terry. Go on, Terry. Doesn't oh, count. Hit the post and miss. Oh, on, on, that one's in. Oh, that one's in. Oh, go on. Keep going. Oh, just get your face right in. Dig it right, right to the bottom. Get your face in. No hands. That one's just gone over that one. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go right in. Put your head right in. There you go. There you go. Three. Come on. Three. Easy. Easy. You're going to do this easy. Easy. You're going to right in. Oh, I've got a crack team. All right. You're all right. Nothing on, coming up. Tell it, Maggot. Go on, Just hold your breath and get your face right in. Go on, Terry. Go on, Just keep going. Go right in. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go right in so they get in your ears and everything. Go on. Keep going. In that same spot there. Keep going. Try and get one on your ponytail. There's one. Keep going in the middle. Right in the middle. Keep going again. Try and get one on your ponytail and I'll go right deep. Please be quiet. What are you doing? You're just being a shovel now. That's it. Go on. Go on. Watch your head, Terry. Watch your head. No fingers. I know. I know. Right. Yeah. Well, Terry, do you want to smile to the camera for us? <laughs> right, Terry. <coughs> what was oh the worst God. part? Starting it or uh smell. actually No, I think I swallowed one, that was the worst part. Yeah. It was absolutely disgusting. It's just finding them all as well. You get a bit stressed if you can't see any and you think you've got to dig deeper. It's a lot better that they were higher up. Well, you completed that in under a minute and you got set six out, one fell. <laughs> Red team, congratulations. Your hard work today paid off. You each banked three grand, and that together it's nine. 
Add that to yesterday's nine, you're on £18,000. Good work, I think your charity will be very happy. Greens, unfortunately for you guys, you look way behind. Terry, you banked three grand. Add that to yesterday's nine, you're now on 12. Could have been on 18 as well. Some teammates let you down. Make it count tomorrow, come out, all of you fighting. And we'll thank the charity, all right? Congratulations, guys. Woo! Proper bun going on, man. He's a bun tonight. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, MC Harvey will be James Bond. cargo net in seconds and then mess up the timing. Now, listen to them. How do you feel? I feel brilliant. Is it a good buzz? Great buzz, best feeling. The hardest thing is landing in that thing, though. Like. Yeah. When you get close, you just... Right, don't yeah, don't yeah. speak too loud so they can't hear, but yeah, what was yeah. it like from the start? What was it like jet ski first? To be fair, that was the um, easiest bit. Once I had my leeway to get on it, it was all right. I got the first grip, that was the main thing. And once I got that, I was all right. When I put my right hand on it first, I thought, I'm all right. And I put my hand higher, and then I was up. I just used my body strength and that was it. And I'd, obviously I knew that I had to jump um, a couple of seconds before because if you go, if you jump when you're in the middle, you're going to be out. But I just jumped a couple of seconds early and that was it, I burst. I couldn't breathe when I didn't know what, I was going to die. I was like, <gasps> well, it doesn't matter that you bounced off because you hit the, you hit the target. Nice, mate, so, like I said, yeah. your time was um, one minute and one second. Depends now if they hit the target, they stop the clock. As soon as they hit the target, they stop the clock. So if they can do it under that, they've won the money. But as it stands, it's a good time. Yeah. How do you feel now? I feel brilliant, I feel relieved. I'm just going to sit back and watch the show. I've done yeah. my bit, I've done the best I can do. You feel happy that time, yeah? Yeah, I feel. Well done, baby. Come in, guys, come in. That was wicked. How do you think your man Champion. done out there? I think Champion. he did wicked. He got That's in the Champion. helicopter yeah. as quick as he could and he hit the target. Not more, thank God. That was the best bit seeing them, these two, man. <laughs> yes! He's just in We were dancing on the boat. Right, red team. Ralph, Anne Marie, and Spoonie. Decisions time. Talk to me. The full process me. was is that if it wasn't so much of a race to get onto the, uh, the chopper, where it wouldn't require as much upper body strength, right. then Ralph thought he would do it. And we said that Ralph could do it just on the strength of we both really wanted to do it. But because he yesterday's task, he just dealt with it. Yep. We thought we'd give him the honour. But as it was, he did say before we did it, look, if he gets up there really quickly, then I think you should do it, Spoon. Well, I wanted to have a look when he did it. I wanted to have a look how far the cargo net came down. Because if I could have got a foothold straight away, yep. I'd have been up there sharpish. But because it only comes down to here, yeah. it's all about in the arms, it's all about pulling yourself up. And he's a bigger, good. stronger lad than me. Yeah. And we want the money. Yeah, but then exactly. And I'm gutted because I'd love to do it. What's going on? They're ready, they're ready. Big guy. Fine, actually. Yeah. Getting focused now. Just thinking about where I'm going to jump off the chopper. Where do you think you're going to jump off? Before or after? Middle? Nah, way before, about five foot before. Could it? Right. That's the, probably the hardest bit worked out. Good luck, man. Make it count. Play shows, what do you reckon? I really don't want him to do it. I reckon he's going to miss. Yeah. I think he was over, man. Had yeah. to have been. From the clock starting, it, it was all right. There's at one point when I thought that I'm climbing up the uh, cargo net that I thought I'm taking too long here, but I was like, don't worry about it. It got up there. And then it was just a thing about fo focusing. It's when you get just before the crash, man. I already thought, you know what, you've got to be jumping out six, seven foot beforehand. But it's, it's awkward doing that because there's nothing to land on. Right. I would like to start off by saying congratulations to each and every one of you. Firstly, for taking part in Fear Factor. It takes a lot of bottle to come on this show, and I think you can all appreciate why. 
in my eyes, without being corny, you've all been top class. That so, uh, corny. round of applause to you all. Thank you. Also, the losers on today's show will not be going home empty-handed. We're going to be giving them a thousand pounds each for their own charities. Now for the bad part, or the good part for someone. Celebrity Fear Factor was neck and neck on stunt one. Both teams held their own and banked nine grand each. Celebrity Fear Factor day two. One team moved into the advantage by banking nine grand. That was the red team. And today, the red team, i.e. Spoonie, your time of one minute has beaten Harvey's of one minute one. Yeah! You are taking home to your charities £23,000. Ralph, Anne Marie, and Spoonie. It is very clear for everyone to see that fear is not a factor for you guys. Congratulations.